Hey everyone, Maya here from My Storybook and welcome to today's interactive read aloud. Today I have a very exciting new story for all of you featuring a brand new character in one of my favorite series. Now, you may remember reading about my friends back here. The Bad Seed, The Good Egg, and The Cool Bean. Double thumbs up if you remember them. Yes, they are so funny and teach such great lessons about what it means to take care of yourself, be kind to others, and to be a cool friend. And today we're introducing a very new friend, a new character into this series of books. And you see him up here. We'll talk about those crafts in just a minute. But introducing our friend, the couch potato. Oh my goodness, my friends. Have you ever heard of that before? If someone says, you're such a couch potato, what does that mean? What kind of person is a couch potato? That's right. A couch potato is someone who's lazy and they sit on the couch all day and they don't move like a potato doesn't move. They just sit on the couch. Maybe they watch a lot of TV and just don't get up and do anything else besides sit on the couch on their bum. <laughs> so we're going to be reading about the couch potato today and seeing hmm, how he changes from a couch potato to a different kind of potato. All right. Are you ready to begin? I think so. Let's get started. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is The Couch Potato, written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. So that means Jory John did what? If he's the author, what part of the book did he do? He wrote all the words. And what about Pete Oswald? He's the illustrator. What did he do? That's right. He drew all the pictures we are going to see. And if you remember, my friends, Jory John and Pete Oswald have hilarious words and hilarious pictures, right? Well, let's find out what this couch potato is all about. And if I go ahead and take a look at the cover right here, what are you noticing on the cover about couch potato? Right? So I see he's on the couch. And what do you notice that he has with him on the couch? All these things around him. What do you see? Right, I see he's got lots of electronics, some headphones. It looks like he has a remote control, an iPhone, this little like keypad right here. Hmm, he's got his feet up on a footrest. Yeah, so couch potato, remember, means someone who's lazy, doesn't really get off the couch. Couch potato's gonna go through a little change in this book. What do you think's gonna happen to couch potato? Nice prediction. My friends, are you ever sometimes a couch potato? Maybe not all the time, but sometimes do you like to just sit on the couch and watch TV for a long time? Yeah, what do you like to watch or do on the couch? Yeah, maybe you play games or something instead. Yeah, so all of us are a little couch potato we sometimes, right? You just like to relax and lay down on the couch, but you become a real couch potato if that's all you do all day long. Hmm. Well, let's find out what happens to this couch potato. So here's our title page. The Couch Potato has the title of our book. The Couch Potato, our author and illustrator who published the book, Harper Kids. So they're the ones who helped put the whole book together and shared it with you and me. And what do you notice on this title page, my friends? What is going on? I see Couch Potato, right? Looks like oh, he maybe has a little puppy. And what are they doing? Watching TV. That's a big screen, huh? And they're on the couch, right? On the couch watching TV. So here we go. I am a potato. Okay. Not a small potato like my brother. And not a sweet potato like my mother. And not a mashed potato like my uncle. Oh, so these are all different kinds of potatoes, my friends. Have you ever seen a small potato? Thumbs up or thumbs down. What about sweet potato? Maybe you've even eaten a sweet potato before. <gasps> Do you like it? And what about mashed potato? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Have you had that before? <laughs> yeah. So these are different potatoes in his family, but he's not any kinds of those potatoes. No. What kind of potato do you think our friend is? A couch potato. I am a couch potato. Oh, yeah. It's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. <gasps> nice rhyming. Slouch couch. I spend all my free time sitting in this exact spot. So he doesn't 
even move. Hmm. How does he feel about that? He looks pretty happy sitting in that exact same spot. My friends, do you sit in the exact same spot all day or do you get up and move around? Well, I hope you get up and move around. That's healthy for your body, right? Well, he sits in this exact same spot and he's got a little pup there. Ah, he said. My friends, can you say that with me? Ah, sounds like he's really relaxed, right? Why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could need. Hmm, I wonder what's so special about this couch. Let's see. So look at all of these things that Couch Potato has. Take a look. See, I have this, and this, and this, and one of these, and those, ooh, and this, and that, and these. My friends, so what are all of these this, that's, and these that Couch Potato has on his couch? Go ahead. What do you notice? Right, he's got popcorns, he's got something to drink out of, he's got even fuzzy slippers. Looks like he's got lots of headphones, games, uh, remote controls, hmm, all of those things right there on his couch so he doesn't even have to get up to move in. Oh my, what is going on over here even? Yeah, looks like a couch is feeding him. I guess got robot arms. What? Oh, and this. Check it out. This button activates a gadget that brings me snacks whenever I want. Whoa, and what kind of snacks does he want? My friends, if you had a special gadget that would get you snacks whenever you wanted, what kind of snacks would you ask for? Those sound good. Maybe you could invent something like him. But since he has this thing giving him snacks, does he have to get off the couch? Nuh-uh. Bam! Impressed! And I don't have to move an inch. This is much easier than going to the kitchen. My friends, if you want a snack, where do you have to go to get your snack? Or what do you have to do to get it? Yeah, maybe just ask mom or dad or grown up. But maybe you have to actually get up and go to the kitchen, right? And go get one. Yeah. The couch potato doesn't have to move from this exact spot. Whoa. Because you know, if the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. <gasps> ah! Can you say that with me? Ah! Look at that, my friends. What else does his handy dandy couch gadget do for him? Right. Gives him a manicure, even combs his hair and gives him a massage. Oh man, you know, if I had a couch like that, I don't know if I'd ever get up either. Huh. Well, Couch Potato saying if the most important thing in life is to be comfortable. Hmm, do you think that's the most important thing in life? Or what do you think is the most important thing in life? Right? Well, being comfortable is pretty important. But I don't know if it's the most important thing. But wait, there's more. <gasps> what do you think is behind the curtain? <sighs> Let's see. I haven't revealed the absolute best part about my setup. Let's see what's behind this. Ah, what is it, my friends? Looks like a lot of screens, right? TV screens, computer screens. It's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around. Take it all in. Pretty spectacular, right? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens. From wall to shining wall, what joy, what bliss, what happiness to have all these screens. So many different things to look at and watch. Oh, my friends, would you want a wall of screens like this? What would you even watch on all these different screens? Oh, seems like a lot of screens to me. Well, let's see what Couch Potato does with all these screens. These screens show my favorite shows. And what do you see here? What are some of his favorite shows? Right? Looks like he's watching Fries. Kind of reminds me of the show Friends, if you know that one. Mashed Potato. Mad Yam. <laughs> this screen has all my unanswered messages. Oh, so you can, like, text or message people. Like, communicate with friends. These screens are where I play my video games. So he has a bunch of different video games. And what kind of games is he playing? Some racing games. This looks like Tetris or something. Wow. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best 
Spud for life. <laughs> so Spud is the name for a potato. And it's funny because he's trying to say my best bud for life, but my best bud for life, right? So instead of seeing his friend in real life, he just live streams him, right? Where the friend just like shows himself on the screen so he can see him. They don't actually meet in real life, my friends. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days. That's for sure. Oh, so instead of actually meeting in person and playing, they just talk to each other on the screen? What do you think about that, my friends? Would you rather just talk to your friend on the screen or actually meet in person? Why do you choose that? Yeah, I think I'd rather meet in person, right? So that we can actually play. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal <laughs> That's funny. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time. With just a few taps and clicks. Not bad, eh? And can you say this with me, my friends? What does he always say? He always says, ah. Try that again one more time. Ah. What a relaxed couch potato. Yes, sirree. This is the life. At least, that's what I thought. Dot, dot, dot. Until the other day. So this tells me, until the other day, that a change is going to happen. What do you think is going to happen? Here he is, he's all comfortable on the couch, and he thinks life is so great until the other day. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. Something strange happened. There was a knock at the door. It was a delivery. Hmm. Whoosh! Oh, he looks so happy to get it. Oh, and look, there's that front door camera so he can see what's going on, right? Hmm. I wonder what it is. It was my newest device. A video camera that would allow me to watch myself react while I was watching all my shows. So a video camera to watch yourself while you're watching shows. That's a lot of screens, right? Ay, ay, ay. All I had to do was plug it in and my room, uh, my kingdom would be complete. <gasps> but suddenly... Uh-oh, what happened when he plugged it in? What do you think is going on? It looks like electricity. <gasps> I think he put in too many plugs, my friend. Sometimes if you use too much electricity, the electricity dies. Oh, everything went dark. Look out, coming through. Whoops, ow. Ooh, stubbed his toe in the dark. Whoop. Ouch. <gasps> Whoa, no, my friends. What is Couch Potato going to do with no electricity for all his electronics? Good guesses. I don't know, right? Because his Couch Potato life isn't going to work if he doesn't have all his things right there. <gasps> oh, and what do you notice here? What did he do? He needed some light, right? So he opens the window and then <gasps> what's going on over here? It looks like he's going outside. <gasps> I made it to the window and I pulled back the curtains. Oh, oh, it's so bright. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. So there's nothing better to do. So I decided to take my dog, Tater, for a walk. Oh, Tater, like Tater Tot. So there's nothing else to do, right? Because none of his electronics are working. So he's going to go outside for a walk. It's all ready, so I'm going to go take Tater for a walk outside. Ooh, it had been a while since he's been outside. But how does he feel? Looks pretty happy to be outside, huh? Look at all those beautiful things he sees. What does he see outside? Yeah, that's nice. Everything was so vivid, so clear and bright, like a high-resolution 156-inch curved screen, but... Even more realistic. Oh, so sometimes on TV it can look really real, but not as real as actual real life, right? Mm. Something smelled fresh. After a few moments, I realized that it was air. Ooh, air does smell good, right? Fresh air. Mm, just take a deep breath in. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps? But no, where's the sound coming from? Not a ringtone, not a phone, but from birds. I looked up to see some birds, so not a ringtone. And I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. 
Eventually, I found a park with a hill. There was a massive, a huge tree on the top. It looks like a desktop background, so really pretty, except this one was real. Oh, wow. So, Couch Potato, what is he realizing about outside? That outside's really pretty and amazing, right? Even more pretty and amazing than just looking at it on a screen. Hmm. Neat, he says. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch. Not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. <gasps> and what does he say? Say it with me. Three, two, one. Ah. Ooh, so he's relaxing outside under a tree with Tater and... <gasps> and then what does he see? A beautiful sunset. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, those colors. My goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward button. But eventually the sun sank below the horizon. And even though it took a long time, how does Couch Potato feel about watching the sunset? He feels happy. He feels like... Wow, this is beautiful. And he, I'm thinking he feels really relaxed, right? He's not thinking about anything else. When you're out in nature, you can just feel relaxed. My friends, what do you like about being out in nature? Yeah. How does being outside make you feel? It makes me feel relaxed, fresh, and happy. By the time I got home, the power was back on, so I sat on the couch. Woo! I hit the button to brush my teeth. Oh man, this couch really does do everything. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. And I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Good night, Spud. Oh, instead of good night, Moon, have you seen this book before? So there he is. Oh, so power's back on. It looks like he's going back to the couch, just sitting there like his regular self. Hmm. But then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. And I wondered how much of my life had been spent in this very same exact spot, right? He just went outside and saw all those great things, but then he's realizing, wait, I spent a lot of my life in this exact same spot. Huh, what do you think he's gonna do about that? Hmm. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off this couch a bit more often. Maybe. Every day, even. So maybe even every day, he's going to get off of that exact spot on the couch. Let's see. Oh, and look at all these amazing things Potato is doing. My friends, what is what are some great activities Couch Potato is getting to do with his friends now in real life? Yeah, look at all those cool things. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies, outside. We've started biking ooh, and hiking. Oh, that's pretty tiring. And swimming. Look at Tater over there. And hiding and seeking. Oh, thumbs up, my friends, if you like to play hide and seek. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. And sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just... See what happens. My friends, which of these activities do you like to do with your friends or family? Yeah, those are great ones. What are some other outside activities you like to do that maybe they don't show on this page? Those sound like so much fun. It makes me wonder, what if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? Huh. What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets, my electronics, and my screens, and the world outside, right? So if I balance my screens with my outside time, because it turns out that I'm more than just a couch potato. Oh. I'm in amusing potatoes. That means funny potato. <laughs> it looks like he's telling a joke or something. My friends, do you know a good joke? Go ahead, tell me. <gasps> Sounds like you're an amusing person. I'm a smart potato. <gasps> what are they playing? Chess. I bet you're a smart person too. And I'm a kind potato. <gasps> How is he being kind? He's giving Tater a nice bubbly bath. <laughs> My friends, what's something kind that you've done that makes you a kind potato person? 
That's very kind. So you're more than just a couch person too, right? You are an amusing person, a smart person, a kind person. I'm an entertaining potato. So that means you make people laugh again and you throw shows or you talk a lot to get people really excited and interested. And I'm a sit on the hill and watch the sunset kind of potato, just relaxing and enjoying nature. My friends, are you a sit on the hill and watch the sunset kind of person? Yeah, I am too. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I want to be part of it in person. So there's so much amazing world to see, my friends, not just on the screens, but in real life to go outside and go see it and live it in real life in person. Wow. But don't get me wrong. At the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. And what does he say? <gasps> ah, say with me, my friends. Ah, the end. <gasps> but I'm noticing something, my friends. He's on the couch again after a long day of playing, but instead of watching TV and having all his gadgets on, what is he doing instead? He's reading a book book right so even though he's back on the couch it's after he had a nice long day outside and instead of turning on the tv he's relaxing with a book and reading a story that's a change isn't it wow couch potato went through a big change in this book how did couch potato change in this book Right, he went from just sitting on the same exact spot all day long, never moving, never going outside, to all of a sudden going outside every day, playing with his friends, and then just relaxing at the very end of the day with a good book. The end, my friends. Wow, what a fun story. So much fun activities that Couch Potato ended up doing, and such a great message about how you should balance your inside time with your screens and TV and video games and your outside time. It's important to have both, right, my friends? What's one of your favorite parts about this story? I really liked that part too. I liked all the activities Couch Potato did. I also thought it was kind of cool how the couch did all those cool things for him, but I also think it's important that you balance all those electronics again with all your playtime outside, right? Because that's how to keep your body healthy. I was thinking that when he was sitting there on the couch, his body must have been really achy from not stretching and stuff, right? All right. Well, in this book, my friends, we got to talk about some outside activities you might like to do. And this book was also about how to keep your body healthy, right? So you're not just sitting on the couch all day. What are some other good ways to keep your body healthy? Those are excellent ideas to keep your body healthy. I hope you're doing all of those. Well, this is perfect. I'm glad you shared those ideas because this leads us right into this week's craft. Let's check it out. So for this week's craft, we have our couch potato buddies. And if you see here, they look just like our friend couch potato in the book. One is in color printed that you can print out in color. One is in a black and white so you can color it in. And you'll notice they have two different headings on the top. You can find both of these in color or black and white depending on which one you want. Let's take a look at this one. Talks about I keep my body healthy by. And if you open him up, if you open him up, you'll see all these different examples of how you can keep your body healthy. You'll get to fill in some examples, or if you want, there's some ideas that you can print out and glue on. But here's a reminder of how you can keep your body nice and healthy, just like how Couch Potato changed from sitting on the couch all day and decided to get up and keep his body healthy. We also talked in the book about outside activities that you like to do. And so this version says my favorite outdoor activities are, and if you open them up, you can write down all of your favorite things you like to do outside. Or again, I had this one where I printed out some examples and cut and glued them on because I have some ideas already for you. But if you're interested in making these couch potato crafts, my friends, go ahead and check them out on my blog by clicking on that link down below and you'll find all the directions and templates you need to share your own couch potato buds. Your best buds, right? All right, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud. 
For more reading resources, you can check out my social media links on Facebook, Instagram, on the blog, on TikTok, comment here on YouTube, email me. All the social media links can be found down below. If you do make your own couch potato crafts, please do share them with me. Share with me what you like to do to keep your body healthy, what your favorite outdoor activities are. I'm always looking for new ways to keep myself healthy and some new fun things to do outside as well. So go ahead and let me know. Reach me at all of those social media links down below. Okay, my friends. Well, well, that brings us to the end of this week's Read Aloud. Well, I hope you enjoyed meeting the couch potato as much as I did. And he is so excited to join his buddies back here with all his other buddies back here from Jory John and Pete Oswald's amazing series. If you like this video, my friends, please make sure to subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel by clicking on that subscribe button and keeping up with all of our interactive read alouds. I love going on these adventures with you and I have some fun read alouds coming up in November. All right. So. Until next time, my friends, I hope you are staying safe and healthy, and happy reading!